So, what is going on, guys? Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Power Rangers Mega Force Go Say Grand Megazord. And the Go Say Grand Megazord set is comprised of the Sky Lion, Lion, and Sea Lion Megazord. Or Zords. Megazords. Zords. And yeah, one of them clearly is bigger than the rest and does most of the work. But hey. Now, these guys were not packed in a box together much like the other ones, they were instead packed in a, he was like 20, and these were like 10, so they actually end up being more than the other one, but they're also a lot bigger than the other one, the Megazord in general ends up being a lot bigger than the other one, I mean, as far as it goes, the Zords are very good, one is good, the other two are, I don't know, we're going to take a look at the sea and skyline at the same time, though, because they are basically identical. So as far as these two go, the only difference, and I mean this, is these seat bits. Because these guys actually were like bikes. So they came a little bike thing, and you'd like clip it into the bottom, and then like flip these down. These are like handles for these like Gumby Rangers. And I mean... They just kind of sat there on them. There was also a blue one, which was shark, but that was for a completely different combined mode. Weirdly enough, I don't I don't know what they were on with these, but these were really bad. And these are just oh man, they're like bigger versions of these two, where it's like they're very clear to what they do. They're just really similar. <clears throat> As far as it goes, the headers are removable, and we have Bullet Bill here, which is the Sky Lion. That's not even an animal. At least a Sea Lion's real, but the only issue is, why does this look like more of a lion than the lion? This is like what a regular lion would look like. That's like the Japanese lion, you know? Like, do you ever see, like, the Japanese lion statues? That's what the lion zord looks like, is that, instead of this being. Like, this is a regular lion. <clears throat> Actually, I guess this could be more of a sea lion. I am confused in, as to why that happened. I am really confused. And I don't think I'm confused on which one's which, because I'm pretty sure this is sky and this is sea. It's really weird. There's nothing else really up with these guys, though, other than being pretty much exa just exactly the same, other than the seat and the headers. That's it. That's them, too. They're boring. They don't do anything. And then have the best Zord out of the entire set that I own. Which is the Lion Zord. And the Lion Zord is awesome. It even has pressure fire missiles, which I just launched one. There we go. Found it. Yeah. Pressure fire missiles. No way. Yeah, really weird. As far as it goes, you're looking at the head on this one, it's a lot different, but we'll get to why. We will get to why. As far as the sword goes, yeah, it's big and bulky, and you can kind of tell it's the majority of the Grand Megazord. It is the majority of it. But, but, here's the thing. This thing has a cool gimmick. Remove the header, which looks like this, which is blatantly not the head. But, wait a minute. It turns into a little man. Yes, it turned into a little Robo Knight. I have no idea what the Japanese equivalent's called, but that's what he was called here was Robo Knight. Really original name. But he was the coolest looking out of the Mega Force ring. He's basically six ranger equivalent of the bunch. And I mean, it did do this in the show, which is really cool. They kept this as a function. It's not like it has a ton of articulation, though, for a little tiny figure. The arms go forward and back, and they can rotate. Legs go forward and back and outward, and that's it. But, I mean, that's not that's not bad for what this is. It's a little additional thing. Speaking of a little additional thing. <clears throat> remove these back parts, flip them around. Come up here to the top sections, and on the inside, there's these little bits... And flip out. This is like the only time I think I've ever had trouble getting those out. I 
I have never had this much trouble getting these out. There we go. Shoes was foot. And take your little robo knight and slot his hands into those little bits I flipped out. And you get tank mode. Why? Why, why does this exist? <laughs> it's so stupid. It's so stupid. Like, what? It just rolls along. It's so stupid. It is so stupid. Like, they, at least it's like super hidden and it doesn't actually force itself upon you while you're messing around with it. Like, at least it's just a thing that's extra that you could do. Like, why? But as far as it goes, that's the Zord, so let's just get into the combination. All right, and so to do the combination for these guys, pretty simple. Take your Zords here, so take your red and blue Zord, and flip them like so. I think I have them on the wrong sides. I do, because the screws... Actually, I don't think I do. I don't know which way these guys actually go on. I don't have a clue. Uh-oh. Anyway... That's what you do with them. You just flip in those panels and then flip the feet. There you go. Awesome. For this guy, take him. Remove, <clears throat> remove the wheels. Peg them in like so. Peg the legs in. Come to the back. Remove this section here. And that will become the chest piece. So I, I actually need to get the boxes higher because he's not on camera. He's actually too tall. And there we go. Now he's not too tall. We've done it. We've got him up. You're then going to come up here to the lion's head. Flip the legs upward like so. Flip up that on the crest. And there's the Gosei Grand Megazord all combined up, and yeah, it looks pretty cool. As I mentioned, it is my favorite out of the two. Here it is compared, and you can see the height difference already. You can see, because I didn't, I only had to use the one box for that one. I kind of forgot how much of a height difference that these two have. Like, there's a massive difference in size between these two like it's crazy as far as it goes i just like this one better i i i don't remember what vehicles these ones come from because like i mentioned in that review the headers take over a vehicle i'm pretty sure he's a dump truck he's either a boat or a submarine and he's some kind of plane but i mean they do look good together as far as articulation goes, nothing in particular with the new one. Same thing as usual. Nice arms. The back of them's pretty clean. Got the wings. You can flip them out if you'd like. I don't. Anyway, that is that, though. Ooh, that's the majority of that. He also has knees, technically. Ta-da! Knee joints. I do just like the look of this, though, compared to the rest. But that's obviously not it, because these two combine. They're Megazords. Of course they combine. So let's get into this, shall we? I'm going to hope I don't need to boost the camera anymore. If I do, I'm going to end up being holding the camera, because it is too large. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to this board. We're going to remove everything, chest piece, head, and the back pieces. And we're going to remove these like so.
Now I'm going to take the Gose Great. For the Gose Great, move the head, take the sword, open it up, and just store the head. You don't need it. Come to the arms and remove them. So what you're going to do here is, I do this personally, I'm pretty sure these are supposed to go on the shoulders, but I put them on the knees because I think it looks better. Take those, put them on there like that, and then flip those. So that's what you do with the majority of that Megazord. You're going to take C and Sky, and you're going to flip them down like so. So you're just going to do that, and then flip it with that peg. And you're going to do with said pegs, is you're going to take the Phoenix and the Shark, and you're going to combine them all like so. And that'll form the new arms. And then I'm going to take the arms from the Grand Megazord. And you're going to flip up these panels. And you're then going to be able to take them. And there's kind of clips in there, as you can see. And they clip onto the heel bits there. And that starts to form that. We're then going to take the core part of the Grand Megazord, so the lion. Rotate the shoulders, so they have a bit of a rotation there. Peg them on where the head goes, and then peg it onto the shoulder bits. Take the arms and put them on like so. Take the dragon head off of where it sits and then move it up. It becomes the core part of it. I forgot a part on the legs, which is the skirts. Just come to the back of the figure here. And they just kind of peg in around the back and form kind of side skirts. Take the sword. Here, it's actually supposed to be a staff, which is held like that. But I don't own any of the extra swords, which is what you need. Basically, you're supposed to take an extra sword and put it on the top to form the spear. And I think it would have been cool if it had been like the lion. Like, say it was the lion and that form in the top of the spear. I think that would have worked. But no, since I don't own any of them, I just kind of flip it around and use it as a blade. Because it makes more sense. And then you're going to take the head, and I like to flip the arms around to make it look a little different. Because there's no unique head for the combination. I like to do this with it personally, and then you're supposed to, like, take these and flip them outward like that. So, yeah, there's no unique combination for it outright. And, once again, a little short, but I can just pick up the camera. It's fine. As far as the combo goes, yeah. I like it. I like this combination a lot. I also can't see the feet. There's the feet. And I mean, it's just a big Megazord that looks really cool. It, it's just a cool looking Megazord to me. I just love it. It's just one of those big ones. It's like, yeah, it's not even one of the crazy cool big ones, I guess. Like the RPM. Is it G12? Is that what it's called? That one is crazy. But like, this is cool. So you could make this way better with Zord Builder and everything like that. Like, there's still lots of ports left all over this guy that you could do. Like, there's still a bunch of things you can do with this guy. Like, you can definitely add to the back. There's still the lag ports available back here. There's clips there. You have all of these for any of the extra Zords, plus the four on the shoulders, the one on the, on the sword staff thing, the one there. There's lots. There's everywhere. I'm going to pick this up for a second just to show it off a little bit better at the top because 
like I mentioned, can't really see it all the way because of the, uh, where it's stationed, but that is the entirety of the Zord. So what do I think of the set as a whole? I think the Gose Grand itself, I'm pretty sure this is Great Grand, if I'm not mistaken, or is it Great Ground? I'm not sure. But as far as it goes, the set as a whole, pretty good. I like this combination a lot. I think it's like a four out of five combination. I do. I think it's good. It's not perfect, but it's good. As far as the individual Zord, though, I really like it. I give it a four as well, only because, and the thing that's going to subtract from this one, the fact that they didn't change the head, there's no Gestalt head, it's just it's just a different looking helmet, I guess. And they're not even supposed to do anything with the arms, I just do that on my own because I think it looks cooler. But yeah, that has been my review of the Power Ranger Mega Force Gosei Grand and Gosei Great Grand Megazords. This has been Alt Elite signing out.